Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on bell Coleman cycle. It is also called as reverse Breton or Joule cycle. So first I will read what is the given problem. The atmospheric air at pressure 1 bar and temperature minus 5 degree Celsius is drawn in the cylinder of the compressor of a bell Coleman refrigerating machine. It is compressed isentropically to a pressure of 5 bar. In the cooler, the compressed air is cooled to 15 degree Celsius, pressure remaining the same. It is then expanded to a pressure of 1 bar in an expansion cylinder, from where it is passed to the cold chamber. Find work done per kilogram of air, coefficient of performance of the plant. For air, assume law of expansion PV raised to 1.2 is equal to constant, law of compression PV raised to 1.4 is equal to constant and specific heat of air at constant pressure is equal to 1 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. So this was the given problem. Let us first understand what is the given data and which factors we have to find out. So if we observe the given data, the pressure of air 1 bar is given and temperature minus 5 degree Celsius is drawn in the compressor. So if we observe the bell Coleman cycle, so here is the refrigerator that is known as cold chamber, then compressor, cooler and expander. So we know that this when the air is passing through this compressor, then we will say here the process 1 to 2. So here the pressure of air is 1 bar. So before compression, pressure at point 1 is 1 bar and temperature minus 5 degree Celsius and this air is drawn in the compressor. So we will say that this pressure P1 is equal to 1 bar and temperature T1 is equal to minus 5 degree Celsius. So now if we observe the units, we have to convert these units into standard units. So how to convert? So this pressure is given in the bar. So we will convert this 1 bar that is 1 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per meter square. And this temperature is given in the degree Celsius. So we will take here minus 5 plus 273. So this is the conversion into the Kelvin. Now what happens next? So the next is this air is getting compressed isentropically. So in this compressor, compression process is taking place at constant entropy because isentropic process is taking place and up to a fiber. So it is compressed up to fiber. So when the air leaving this compressor, the pressure at point 2 is equal to fiber. So we have to say that P2 is equal to phi bar. So again we can convert this into Newton per meter square that is phi into 10 raised to phi Newton per meter square. Now we will move for the next. In cooler compressed air cooled to 15 degree Celsius. So if we observe after compression the air is passed through this cooler. So here the process 2 to 3 is taking place. So in this cooler, the compressed air is cooled to 15 degree Celsius but at constant pressure. That is the constant pressure cooling is taking place. So after cooling, what is the temperature of this air? That is 15 degree Celsius. That means at point 3, the temperature is 15 degree Celsius. So we can say that T3 is equal to 15 degree Celsius. So how we can convert it into the Kelvin? That is 15 plus 273. So this is the T3. So we have to first observe what is the given data and we have to write it. Then after cooling it is expanded to 1 bar in expansion cylinder. So here is the expander. So this is the process 3 to 4. So what happens at point 3 air enters in the expander and it is expanded to 1 bar. So what is the pressure after expansion? That is 1 bar in an expansion cylinder from where it is passed to the cold chamber. So next that is at point 4. What is the pressure that is given? That is 1 bar. So we can say that from this data P4 is equal to 1 bar. 
so this is the given data now law of expansion is given so what is the law of expansion p v raised to 1.2 is equal to constant so where is the expansion process so if we observe here the pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram expansion and compression process related to this that is the change in pressure because uh, after expansion and after compression the pressure changes there so what is happening in the expansion process so as the expansion process is taking place the pressure is getting decreased so if we observe this process 3 to 4 this is the expansion process because here the pressure is getting decreased so what is the pressure in between this uh, 3 and 4 so expansion we can say that p3 by p4 is the expansion so p3 by p4 is the expansion process and here this process follows the law p v raised to 1.2 is equal to constant so we can say that n is equal to 1.2 we can write this then law of compression so if we observe this pressure volume here if what is happening in the compression process that is pressure is getting increased so here from 1 to 2 the pressure is getting increased and for this compression process it follows the law pv raised to 1.4 is equal to constant so what is here pressure ratio so that is p2 by p1 so for this compression ratio we can say that this is p2 by p1 and here P V raised to 1.4. So we will say we know that value of gamma is equal to 1.4. So here we will use for the compression process gamma is equal to 1.4. Now the specific heat at constant pressure is also given. So what is this Cp that is 1 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. And what we have to find out we have to find out what is the work done and what is the coefficient of performance. So we will calculate these values with the help of the formulas. So let us move for the calculation. Now we will first calculate what is the work done per kilogram of air. So if we observe the given data, we know what is the law of compression as well as what is the law of expansion. And we also know the temperature that is T1 as and T3. So if we observe this compressor what is the law of compression so for this compressor law of compression is given that is p v raised to gamma is equal to constant and what is the law of expansion that is p v raised to n is equal to constant so we have to write gamma 1.4 and n 1.2 so here we will write the formula for the compressor so what is the work done by the compressor so work done by the compressor we have to consider this gamma as per the law so work done that is the process so here is the compression process is taking place so here in the process 1 to 2 the compression process is taking place so we will say that this is the work done that is w12 is equal to so what is the formula that is gamma divided by gamma minus 1 into r multiplied by t2 minus t1 so here we have to take the temp difference in the temperature that is t2 minus t1 so if we observe the given data we know what is the temperature of t1 but we don't know what is the temperature of t2 so we have to calculate it now in the same way we have to write what is the work done by the expander so here the process 3 to 4 the expansion process is taking place so again we have to write the formula so as per the law of expansion here it is given that p v raised to 1.2 that is n is equal to 1.2 is equal to constant so here we have to use the formula w 3 to 4 is equal to n divided by n minus 1 into r and the change in temperature that is t3 minus t4 so if we observe we know the value of here t3 but we don't know the value of t4 so again we have to calculate the value of t4 so how to calculate so here for the compression process so what is the relation in between temperature and pressure so in between this process 1 to 2 so now we know what is the compression ratio and what is the expansion ratio 
सो हियर टी टू बाय टी वन इज इक्वल टू पी टू बाय पी वन रेस टू गैमा माइनस वन बाय गैमा सो दिस इज द रिलेशन सो नाउ वी नो वॉट इज द प्रेशर पी टू सो हियर इज द प्रेशर पी टू इज इक्वल टू पी थ्री बिकॉज प्रोसेस टू टू थ्री इज द एट कॉन्स्टंट प्रेशर दैट इज फाइव बार सो हियर पी टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव बार एंड पी वन इज इक्वल टू वन बार सो दिस बार बार इज गेटिंग कैंसल सो वी कैन टेक हियर डायरेक्टली फाइव बाय वन रेस टू गैमा माइनस वन दैट इज वन पॉइंट फोर माइनस वन वन डिवाइडेड बाय वन पॉइंट फोर सो हियर फाइव रेस टू जीरो पॉइंट थ्री एट सिक्स सो हियर आंसर इज वन पॉइंट फाइव एट फाइव सो दिस इज इक्वल टू टी टू बाय टी वन सो वी विल कैलकुलेट हियर वॉट इज टी टू सो टी टू इज इक्वल टू टी वन इन टू वन पॉइंट फाइव एट फाइव सो हियर टी वन वी हैव टू कंसिडर इन केलविन सो इफ वी टेक हियर दिस वैल्यू इन केलविन वी विल गेट हियर टी टू द एंसर इज इन केलविन सो हियर द एंसर इज फोर ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट एट केलविन सो दिस टी टू वैल्यू वी कैन पुट हियर एंड वी कैन कैलकुलेट वॉट इज द वर्क डन बाय द कॉम्प्रेसर नाउ इन द सेम वे फॉर एक्सपांशन प्रोसेस वॉट इज द रिलेशन इन बिटवीन टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर सो हियर पी थ्री बाय पी फोर इज द एक्सपांशन रेशो एंड हियर टी थ्री बाय टी फोर इज इक्वल टू पी थ्री बाय पी फोर रेस टू एन माइनस वन बाय एन सो वॉट इज द पी थ्री प्रेशर पी थ्री इज फाइव बार एंड वॉट इज द प्रेशर पी फोर दैट इज वन बार रेस टू एन दैट इज वन पॉइंट टू माइनस वन बाय वन पॉइंट टू सो हियर द फाइव रेस टू जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स सेवन विच इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट थर्टी वन सो now we can calculate here t4 because t3 term is known that is we have to consider the value in kelvin so t4 is equal to 288 by 1.31 which is equal to 220 kelvin so we can put this value of t4 here and we can calculate the work done by the expander so what is the total work done so total work done that is the work done by the compressor minus work done by the expander that is equal to the total work done so what is the work done by the compressor we will put the values 1.4 divided by 1.4 minus 1 r value that is 0.287 its value is 0.287 kilo joule per kilogram kelvin and t2 424.8 minus 268 that is equal to 159 kilo joule per kilogram and what is the work done by expander that is 1.2 Divided by 1.2 minus 1 into 0.287, 288 minus 220, and its answer is 118.3 kilojoule per kilogram. So, what is the total work done? That is work done by the compressor minus work done by the expander. That is 40.7 kilojoule per kilogram, and this is the answer. Now we will calculate what is the coefficient of performance of the plant. So, what is the formula? That is heat absorbed by the work done. so where is the heat absorption process takes place so if we observe this pressure volume and temperature entropy diagram here the entropy is getting increase in the process 4 to 1 that means in this process heat absorption process is taking place and 4 to 1 process is taking place at constant pressure so here by the horizontal line it indicates that this is the this is the process at constant pressure so how to calculate the heat absorption in the process 4 to 1 so there is the formula that is cp that is specific heat at constant pressure multiplied by the change in temperature so here the point 1 is having more temperature that is t1 minus t4 so we will put the values and then the answer is 48 kilo joule per kilogram now what is the coefficient of performance of the plant that is heat absorbed by work done so work done we have already calculated so 48 by 40.7 which is equal to 1.18 so this is the cop of the plant